difference. But uh, I think sensitivity to um, to the context and trying to situate the postcards as accurately as you possibly can. Oh, you can hold them. You can look them. You can turn. You you can look at them. You can turn them over. You can see the age spots. You can see it's it's the when you look at digital artifacts, it's so easy to forget that they're material artifacts. That people held these. That people sent these. That people collected these. That these were important to people. So that's that's why I want the the material object. I want to be able to hold the material object even if it's encased in some sort of protective covering. Are interesting because they're so difficult to find information on. So yeah. like some of the really the older ones don't have any sort of like this was published by this person yeah. and printed by this person and here and <laughs> dates and everything. Some of them just have you know this little little symbol in the bottom right corner that you have to like squint at and you might pick out that it says A a E, and then you have to go search out what that logo means. And to me, that's really interesting. Yeah. And just finding that, I found that this really interesting website that just has a list of all kinds of postcard publishers, and that's been really useful. Cool. And, what, what? Yes, I had one card, and it was literally just it was a, a piece of wood, and there wasn't anything on the front, and on the back it just said postcard um, and like correspondence and address only, and it didn't fit into any category. And I had to make the decision of what I was going to title it. Because it was literally it was blank, um, it, it did have a stamp on it, and the stamp was two point five cents, which that didn't fit. And so I had to think, okay, well, you know, what would be you know the, the correct way to classify it and how I would how I how I would put it in and um, things like that. Great, but uh, what what other challenges have you had so far with um, understanding the cards or understanding the project? I think the developing of the vocabulary, because right now it is so limited, and I want to put as much information in without maybe overwhelming the, mm -hmm. the database um, and I feel like some of the, the images they have so much on them that I have to be able to determine what is the focus of that card and if somebody comes and looks at it um, what they're going to be looking for and how that card would be beneficial so I think choosing the right terms to classify each postcard has been like the most difficult and I've mm -hmm. had to go back through and like change certain words like no that's not going to be sufficient um, so that's been difficult.